So let's begin and um, work on a simple program. As we said, we will incrementally build this program. So we're going to start with a program uh, from scratch. Here is uh, uh, there are some starter files. So I'm going to start with a starter file which is empty. So this is our first program. Um, this is the IDE we use, which is the Microvision IDE, and this is the project window that shows you the files that make up the project, the editor window which is what we're going to focus on, um, buttons here that allow us to engage the compiler, the debugger, the loader and the linker. So first we'll um, look at our program which we are going to be writing. It's going to be put in this file called main.c. main.c will have the code that solves the problem that we're looking at. So I start my program with a, a section which I call the documentation section, which is an optional section, but it also is somewhat uh, important because it tells you what this program does. For example, this program we say is calculates. the area of square shaped rooms. Now as a convention we will uh, put information about who the author is. Uh, I'm gonna write our names because we're gonna both build this code together. Um, and and something to ref refer to as to when this program was written. So I'm going to put that here as well. Um, and the documentation section is followed by a preprocessor directive section, and that's a long word uh, sentence all it's really saying is that uh, we don't build our programs from scratch we use pro libraries that are that are pre-built so it has an include section it lists in the include section we list any external libraries we will refer to using a hash include tag. So what we mean by the hash include tag is uh, if let's say I'm referring to a library. In this particular program, we will use the library that is in the stdio.h which is called the standard io library and the uart library that we have created for you so the the system library which is the standard io.h is included by using the diamond braces so these are the diamond braces that we enclose the library in um, so we're what this is saying then is uh, that we are gonna uh, include so we use diamond braces I'm just making a note for system libraries here it's the standard IO library and if we have other libraries here we have a library which is a UART we will use quotes so that is when we have when we have user libraries so user libraries in this case it's the uart library we will use quotes so what this is essentially telling the system is that we're going to be calling some functions which are defined elsewhere and by including them um, these libraries we're telling the system where to find these okay routines that we're going to be using. Now the third section is our subroutines section um, in which the the main is a mandatory 
subroutine for a C program. So anytime I have a C program that needs to be executed that you want to be able to run, it has to have this main subroutine. So, and the main subroutine has this form which says that it, the name of the subroutine is main and it takes no inputs. So in braces we say what inputs it takes, void says that it takes no inputs and it returns an int. And when we look at subroutines in more detail, you'll understand why we specify these pieces of information. So within this, uh, the a main is a subroutine. A subroutine is enclosed within the body of the subroutine is enclosed within these curly braces and the commands that make up the subroutine are listed one after the other. So this is in this program we're going to be using the UART. So I'm going to call a subroutine called UART init which is uh, uh, initialization subroutine. So this is how you call a subroutine or invoke a subroutine. We say call subroutine to init the UART library and once we have initialized the UART library we can now call the call subroutines that are built into the stdio and UART. So the subroutine we're going to call is called printf and printf takes is a very simple subroutine all it's all I'm going to do is it takes a sim simple string I'm going to put a line that I want to display on the screen and I say this program calculates areas of square shaped rooms and I'm going to close it and I'm going to and end the statement with a semicolon. So statements are end with a semicolon. This is saying call the subroutine. The subroutine takes a single input, which happens to be the string, and the string will be displayed on the screen. So I'm gonna save it. And now, now that we have our code, we're gonna build this. Building is the act of engaging the compiler to produce an executable. So I build target. So here there is a warning and Let's see what the warning is. And the warning says that it needs to end in a new line, which I did not end. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new line and I'm gonna save it again. And I'm gonna rebuild the target. Rebuild the target, it's running, it's compiled. I'm gonna debug it. So I hit the debug button and now this code is running. I have a UART window here that shows will show us the contents of the code as it's running. And I'm gonna run this code, so I'm gonna single step through it. So as you will see, the marker here is saying where the code is running. I'm gonna single step, single step, single step. And I see the display and it's not showing fully, so I'm just gonna simply run it full run the code and I see this statement that says this program calculates areas of square shaped rooms. So now we'll build on top of this and make this program a little more interesting, not just uh, a message, but something more, more of value or substance to us.